it's amazing to see this transformation of the city from the point of view of scale. Here is this one block with a single building. Look over here and see how many different buildings were put together in the same dimension. And that was the scale of 19th century New York. Here's the scale of 21st century New York, and heaven knows what's going to follow. A. Louise Huxtable wrote a wonderful essay about the changing scale of the city. She said, in effect, look out, here they come, the big boxes. And she was correct. So here we are in the 19th century, this being New York, and you just turn your head and look what happens. The juxtaposition of a whole new vocabulary, a completely different sense about what to do for enclosure. All that glass is a deliberate contrast with the masonry. And when you're in those places, of course, with glass to the floor, you have a completely different experience of the city. It's astonishing how this part of town, the Lower East Side, is in the process of transformation. And I don't see how it will ever be totally changed, but it certainly is in the process of moving on. Here's a game of horizontal and vertical. And you can see how the horizontals are used to re-establish and connect the building with the neighborhood. The one scale residential, I mean, I'm sorry, the one scale retail street life all fits together. And then piled above it is the vertical expression of these uh, apartment houses. I guess the question is, how does this fellow relate to its neighbors or the future? And the question then will be, what is the next one going to be like? Here's a building that's part of the urban grid, and in that sense, completely conventional. But it's got these zoots, it's got these slices, it's got these gestures to the surrounding streets that make it different. And also, of course, the fenestration being blue glass makes it different. I had read that this was a, a far more aggressive building than it seems to be at least seen from this angle. And it's it's fairly modest in its shape making. You know, it's, it's basically a rectangular structure that's had a few slices. And that seems to be perfectly reasonable in contemporary ideas. Well, the whole subject of change in New York is a complex one. The city is nothing but change. Uh, you, you can't freeze a city, it's too expensive. The only way to pay for New York is by developing it. 